Because you've got a photograph of me wearing that hat. Do people like the hat? No, they don't. What people? How's the hit? Oh, it's atrocious, but thanks for asking. I've seen much worse, but then I do post-mortems. Oh, God, sorry. Don't make jokes, Molly. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. I wasn't expecting to see you. I thought you were going to be in Dorset for Christmas. That's first thing in the morning, me and the wife. We're back together, it's all sorted. No, she's sleeping with a PE teacher. <laughs> and, John, mm. I hear you're off to your sisters. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Sherlock was complaining. <laughs> Saying. First time ever, she's cleaned up her act. She's <laughs> off the booze. Nope. Shut up, Sherlock. So you've got a new boyfriend, Molly, and you're serious about him. What? <laughs> Sorry, what? In fact, you're seeing him this very night and giving him a gift. Take a day off. Shut up and have a drink. Oh, come on. Surely you've all seen the present at the top of the bag. <laughs> Perfectly wrapped with a bow. All the others are slapdash at best. It's for someone special, then. Shade of red echoes her lipstick, either an unconscious association or one that she's deliberately trying to encourage. Either way, Miss Super has love on her mind. The fact that she's serious about him is clear from the fact she's giving him a gift at all. That always suggests long-term hopes, however forlorn, and that she's seeing him tonight is evident from her makeup and what she's wearing. Obviously trying to compensate for the size of her mouth and breasts. You always say such horrible things. Every time. Always. Always. I am sorry. Forgive me. Merry Christmas, Molly Hooper. Ah! Uh, oh, no, that wasn't... No, I, I it didn't... it was me. My God, really? What? My phone. 57? Sorry, what? 57 of those texts, the ones I've heard. Thrilling that you've been counting. Excuse me. What, what's up, Sherlock? He said, excuse me. Do you have a reply? 